Hi everybody, my name's Jason DeWild, I'm the Head of Audio here at uh, Australian Institute of Music and welcome to another micro lecture. Today's one is a bit of a special one. Uh, for many years, um, as you probably know, I've been using Pro Tools uh, for, for a long time, but a, a few years ago I started using another program called Reason. And the combination of those two programs together, where you can do um, all of your audio recording on Pro Tools, but all of your synthesizer programming, your drum machine programming, etc., can be done on Reason. And so today, we're going to link those two programs up together in something that's called rewiring. It's a fantastic combination of being able to use both of those things, and here's how it's done. Okay, so here I've got a Pro Tools session uh, with a couple of uh, basic tracks on it, some piano and some vocals and some strings, etc. Um, and I've done some programming uh, for this particular song on Reason. So now what I want to do is I want to link up Pro Tools and Reason so that they play at the same time. And that's what's called rewiring. Now before you should do any kind of rewiring, you should actually just check the Pro Tools tempo. It's important that the Pro Tools tempo is the tempo that you want Reason to play at. So, um, because what happens is that when you rewire, Pro Tools is the thing that actually governs what the tempo will be. So all of the programming that I've done is going to make sure that it's going to fit in with the tempo of my Pro Tools session. So once uh, you've got the right uh, tempo on Pro Tools, your next step is to create a, a stereo auxiliary input track. Um, it's important that you create a stereo auxiliary input track uh, because Reason won't actually rewire properly if, um, if it doesn't, uh, if, it, if you use a mono one. So make sure you use a stereo auxiliary input. I'm just going to name this Reason. And now all simply uh, to, uh, to actually rewire this properly is to simply go to the inserts and choose multi-channel plugin, instrument, and if Reason's installed, it'll be on this list. And here we have it here, Reason right here. Okay, so we just choose that. And what will happen now is Reason will launch. Right? And you can see it's now just loading up. Now when it first happens, 90% uh, of the time the uh, demo song will launch or whatever default you've actually set on Reason. Uh, in this case I've got the demo, so I don't need that. So I'm actually going to close the uh, demo song. Reason's still active, so I'm not quitting it. And now I'm going to go to the Finder and I'm now going to uh, choose with Reason in my Reason files, here is my Reason uh, file that I actually want to, to rewire. So I've launched Reason and now I'm just opening the Reason document. Okay, and now we have that. So here is my Reason uh, song. So here is that what at this stage we can either choose uh, to play it from Reason or we can choose to play it from Pro Tools. So I'm going to flip over to Pro Tools now. Uh, go to the edit window. This is the actually, sorry, here's the uh, rewire, I guess, plugin. Um, we don't really need that for the moment, so we can close it. It's still active. Um, so I'm now just going to go back to the beginning of the song and just play it. And we've got Reason now actually playing at the same time. So I flip over to Reason, and you can see it's now playing as well. All the dock things are all happening here. Okay, so we at this point we can either stop Reason, which will also stop Pro Tools, or we can. Um, so if I play from anywhere in in Pro Tools, all right. So anywhere the spot, playing as Reason at the same spot as well. Okay, and we can go to anywhere in Reason and Pro Tools will also follow. So I'm now at bar 25 in Reason and you'll see that it's on bar 25 in Pro Tools. And we play. Right. So the two things are effectively locked together. Now, again, importantly, the tempo is actually governed by 
Pro Tools, but you can use the transport in either of, uh, in either program, in either in Reason or in uh, in Pro Tools. So that's it. That's how you rewire. It's very very simple, um, and you see that Reason's loaded in here. And so uh, you, it's a great combination of actually having Pro Tools and Reason uh, locked together like this. Uh, very very handy indeed. So there you have it, that fantastic combination of being able to use Pro Tools and Reason at the same time to get a fantastic production tool um, that you can use for all of your recordings and all of your composition work. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Until next time, see you later.